In the last tutorial, I created synthetic data with a Gaussian function. Now let's fit the data to extract the parameters. There are two ways to access Igor's fitting functions. The first is to open the curve fitting dialog, which displays all the options for curve fitting, and the second is to use the quick fit method. I'll begin by demonstrating the quick fit method. Click on the graph window to bring it to the front. Select the Analysis Quick Fit Gauss menu item. This automatically generates a curve fit command and executes a curve fit to the data in the graph window. The curve fit command performed the fit, appended a fit result trace to the graph, and reported the results to the history area. Click on the command window to bring it to the front. This displays the results in the history area. For this data, the amplitude parameter A should be 1.0, and the position parameter X0 should be 4.0. We got A equals 0.925 for the amplitude, and X0 equal 3.99 for the position. Let's add this information to the graph. Select Analysis, Quick Fit, Text Box Preferences. This opens the text box preferences dialog. At the top of the dialog, check the display quick fit info text box. Then click OK. Click the graph window to bring it to the front. Now select the analysis quick fit Gauss menu item again. This fits the data again and displays the results in a text box in the graph. Once the text box has been made and added to the graph, it remains as a standard text box. Double click on the text box. This opens the Modify Annotation dialog. In the dialog, you can edit the text or add additional text. Type Gaussian Fit in the annotation portion of the dialog. Then click Change. The text box now displays a title for the fit. To remove the text box, select Analysis, Quick Fit, Text Box Preferences again. Then uncheck the Display option. Click OK. The next time you perform a fit, the text box will be removed. Select the Analysis, Quick Fit, Gauss menu item. This fits the data and removes the text box. The quick fit method is useful for fitting curves when you know that the data conform to one of Igor's predefined models. When you want more options, you can use the curve fitting dialog. I'll demonstrate this in the next tutorial.